Oh my god, this is so bad. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Savannah. Happy New Year, you guys. I haven't filmed since last year, 2019, which is really, really crazy. It has been a crazy year. I went out of town and enjoyed myself, hung out with some friends. I had a really, really good time. It was super fun. Some of you guys saw some video clips of certain someone, and it was just honestly a really good time. I really enjoyed myself, and I definitely took some... Definitely some needed time off of YouTube. YouTube can be a little bit stressful sometimes and I definitely like really needed that. So yeah, but I am back and I am better than ever and I'm ready to get the party started. I asked you guys on Instagram for some questions. I actually already filmed this video, but um, I just didn't really like it. So I'm refilming it, but I have my new year Q&A slash my goals for 2020 and then we're gonna be doing my makeup just because I don't want to just sit here and talk. I'd rather like be doing something. Mm. I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a mukbang or a get ready with me and y'all all voted for not all of y'all but most people voted for mukbang so that's what we're gonna be doing it's literally 9 48 at night and i'm literally about to put on this makeup and take it right off but i didn't like the video that i had already filmed so i'm gonna redo it like i'm not gonna just sit here and post something that i don't like some of you guys were like still and i was like I want to try to use this CC cream. I got this. It's like a cosmetic CC cream. Um, I haven't really used this this much. <laughs> oh god, this is dark. This is definitely not my color, but <laughs> oh well. She smells really good though. She smells like all minty and fresh. Put some down the neck to blend it in. I can already hear the comments. That is not your color. Um, no, I know that. I need a self tan, guys, like so bad. I'm probably gonna be doing a self tanning routine coming soon because holy crap, like I really, really need to tan. And I get questions all the time about what products I use and basically how I self tan. So I'm gonna do that. My face is like really dry too, so my makeup. Ugh, my makeup might look really bad. I'm gonna use a freaking brush. I'm just not feeling this. I'm gonna use this like e.l.f. glowy dewy mist to help blend it in. This is like so not my color. It's just like a straight line. First question, will I ever go back blonde? I've been seeing this one a lot and for sure, like I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna stay brown forever. I definitely do like this color and I definitely think I'm going to be keeping it for at least the rest of the school year. I and mean, I probably will go back blonde like when summer comes around. What are my top goals for 2020? So I went ahead and wrote down a few. I'm not just reading these off of like my Instagram. I went down and like wrote some of my favorite ones down. So far, my goals are to be in the gym more consistently. Um, I did a workout routine and basically if you guys didn't watch it, you should go watch it. But um, I found this girl, Callie Fuller, and she has this like a week workout plan. Basically, if you purchase it, you get a workout, like a different workout for every week. And it's five days every week. And it's super simple. You literally just go in. It's very fast. Like it's not hard. And so I've been doing that. And I just feel like now that I have a workout plan, I want to be in the gym a lot more consistently and not just go for like a week and then stop going and then go back for like a week again you know i want to be in it a lot more consistently god my face is so broke out right now it's disgusting um i also want to work on my salve sessions i've been having a really hard time you guys have been asking me you know when am i going to do another salve sesh and i genuinely love the concept behind the salve sessions i started them pure heartedly and they're still like a really thing that i really truly want to do and work on it's just i've been having a lot of anxiety when it comes to them i feel like nowadays everybody bashes everybody for everything everybody's gonna have an opinion and i feel like so many people nowadays get shut down all the time for their opinion and i just don't want to say the wrong thing or just say the wrong thing and a young girl might take it and just you know take it the wrong way or something and i'm just very scared of that aspect of it so i'm working on getting over that fear so i can start giving them to you guys because you guys really want to see them and i know y'all do um it's just whenever i'm ready to film them i will start filming them but hopefully they will start to come out this year more than last year obviously i only did one last year um i also want to get an apartment holy crap i want an apartment so bad i cannot stand living here anymore like i just can't i can't take it anymore i want to move out it's so bad it's more deep than what i want to tell you guys right now just because like that's like private i don't want to do all that but i just feel like honestly i'm just at a point right now that i just need my own space i need my own privacy i just really 
really cannot stand the noises from the street for filming and I just I feel like I have like literally no privacy and I'm about to turn 18 my birthday is on January 24th and I just feel like I'm outgrowing my house and I just do not like being here anymore I just feel like me and my parents keep butting heads a lot and like I love my parents but I just genuinely feel so suffocated at the moment and every time I try to express that I feel this way like it's just World War 3 like literally and I just I hate fighting I hate arguing about it and I just wish it would be a lot more easy to talk to them and explain my feelings without having a big argument every single time like my parents they just want to be good parents you know and watch out for me and I totally understand that and I love them for that but at the same time like I'm about to be 18 years old I need to grow up and be on my own at some point and I just want to stop being babied you know I feel like I'm never going to get anywhere or learn anything on my own if I'm like continued to be baby the whole time and it's just been really frustrating because I feel like I don't I'm not getting treated my age I feel like I'm still getting treated like a 13 year old and I just genuinely can't stand it so we've been butting heads a lot and it's just been making me really 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 want to consider moving out which I already was considering it but it just became more of like a serious problem now so yeah we'll see about all that but that's another goal for my 2020 is to try to hopefully move out and be stable on my own also I want to come out with merch this year last year I didn't come out with merch and I literally got sh for it everybody was like wanting me to come out with merch and I just didn't because I didn't have anyone to run my merch through I didn't know the first thing about making merch it was just difficult but yeah hopefully 2020 we will have Savway merch fingers crossed. Um, I want to do meet and greets and I also want to go to VidCon. I was supposed to go to Playlist Live this year and we really, really talked seriously about it, but then we just ended up not like really talking about it anymore. We being me and my mom. But yeah, I was supposed to go and then I just, we just stopped talking about it. But um, VidCon, I feel like would be more of my crowd anyways. It's more of YouTubers. The next question is what was my biggest regret of 2019? So... I think personally my biggest regret would probably be like letting people take away my happiness I'm like a big person on I don't do anything unless like I don't know how to explain this I basically tiptoe around everyone I don't like to make anyone mad because I'm very scared of like the repercussions of my actions you know like I would do so many more things if I like knew what my consequences were gonna be for whatever I did or what was gonna happen based off of what I was doing I'm just very scared of like the unknown and so I always like psych myself out and i'll be like okay well what if this person does that like and it just makes me overall just like really unhappy in the end so i think this year i just want to focus on more so of myself and making myself happy and to stop giving so many people like such a high power over my happiness because it's just like ridiculous and it's pathetic honestly what are some of my goals for youtube as of right now um i just want to take youtube as far as i can take it youtube isn't something that's probably going to be here forever and so while i have my platform Platform, I want to try to use it to my best advantage and I want to try to do my best at it and just hopefully go as far as I can with it and then also hopefully one day I want to have a family channel that's just been something that like I've really been into like a couple's channel or a family channel that's something that I've always always wanted to do I know it's super duper hard for some couples to have their relationship out there and like public and stuff but I just genuinely love watching couples channels and so I would love to have one for myself but but um, we'll see if that ever happens. Am I planning to move out at 18? So like reiterating back to what I was saying, like for my goals in 2020, my goal is to move out. Whether or not that will happen, I don't know. I would hope and pray that it would. If it doesn't, you know, obviously it just wasn't meant to be if I don't move out. But if I do move out, then hopefully it works out and hopefully it was meant to be. Can you make a Valentine's Day get ready with me? I totally can. I did one last year. So I most definitely will probably end up doing one this year. The highlight I'm using is Madison Miller Moondance Highlight by Ofer Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, I did one last year, so I'm probably for sure gonna do one this year. Tattoos. I get questions about this all the time. Like, am I getting tattoos? Do I have any tattoos? I currently do not have any tattoos, but I am for sure, for sure getting them. I love piercing, so I'm gonna definitely want tattoos. Are you releasing merch? Yes. I am releasing merch. So this is like the big T, I guess. My phone keeps freaking going off. Anyways, so I guess this is 
currently I am in the process of making merch. As of right now, for my first launch, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be two hoodies and a shirt. And a lot of y'all have said that y'all think me making my parking spot would be a good merch idea. So I did try to incorporate that and make something really similar. So yeah, hopefully that will come out sometime soon. The plan as of right now, I honestly don't know if I can be talking about this right now or not. So hopefully I don't get in trouble. Um, anyways. So as of right now, I've made one shirt design and one and two hoodie designs. Well, I mean, they're the same thing. Like it's really just one hoodie design, but just different colors. But yeah, so hopefully that goes good. I think I'm getting the samples for that next week. If I don't like the samples, I'm not going to release it just because why would I put something out there that I don't like, you know? We'll see what the samples look like. And if these samples are good, I like them, then we will go with that. God, my eyebrows look so bad right now meet and greets I think for 2020 I definitely want to do some sort of meet and greet whether that be like with someone else or just by myself I feel like you guys asked for that a lot during 2019 and I really want to do them it's just it's my it'll be my first one and I'm just so petrified that not a lot of people are gonna show up like it would really suck to have planned this like big event or like not necessarily like a huge event but just like this meet and greet and then nobody to sh or not a lot of people to show up I definitely don't think like nobody would show up but like just for like not as many as you would hope for to show up you know what I'm saying? And also, okay, I just want to go back because this is like on my mind right now, but I just want to reiterate like one of my goals for 2020, I almost said 2019, but I think one of my biggest goals is to honestly just be more of myself on my channel. I feel like I suppress myself a lot because I don't want to be looked at a certain type of way and also because I have like my family watching and just other people watching and so I don't really speak how I would speak in front of my friends. Like I honestly have like a really big potty mouth and I'm really, really crazy. Like I'm genuinely, it's almost like I'm a completely different person but I'm not a completely different person I'm still the same person but I'm just like times 10 like I'm more crazy and hyper off camera just because like I know I'm comfortable around those people and that's exactly how I want to be with you guys like I'm comfortable with y'all but you know you you know what I mean and also I'm in cheer right now and I just don't want to disrespect that so yeah but I definitely want to make 2021 one of those obviously I'm turning 18 and stuff so I think once I turn 18 and once I graduate I'm definitely gonna be have a lot more freedom to just be myself on camera so I'm really excited about that. Where'd I get my lashes? So I'm gonna drop the tastes. Okay, so I get my lashes at beauty supply stores. Okay, if you guys have a beauty supply store in your area, freaking go there. ASAP. They have the best, best lashes and for cheap. Like, they're super duper good. I think they're, like, better than Ardell and, like, all those um, drugstore brands. They genuinely are better, in my opinion, and they're cheaper. And beauty supply stores have, like, racks of lashes. They have so many styles. Okay, sorry. I just had to finish my eyeliner, but, God, my ears are, like, itching so bad. But, yeah, basically, I get them at beauty supply stores and beauty supplies have the best. What is the best and worst part about being a youtuber? So honestly the best part is just the like constant constant support you get and the opportunities that YouTube can offer is like literally so crazy and it's so hard to wrap your head around it that YouTube could actually be like a successful thing for you and like a career. It's very crazy because I feel like when people hear about it they're like that's not a real career like that's not gonna be able to pay the bills but like it's the truth like it really could be and it's also something that you can genuinely genuinely enjoy doing it's like it can be something so fun for you but also be your job and I just I love that about it it doesn't feel like a job oh my god I'm getting literally this mascara everywhere but probably the worst part about it I would say is like wanting to share your life and like wanting to be so truthful and pure but then also wanting your own respect and privacy it's just it's very hard to have the best of both worlds when it comes to that because you want to be your most most raw self and you want to share your most raw opinions and your just raw life and sometimes people don't see that you still need respect and privacy and that's just a hard part about it but you know it's just I don't know that's definitely like the worst and the best part god this mascara looks awful I feel like I'm gonna let my uh, mascara on my eyelids dry and then I'm gonna take it off with a q-tip but what are some things that you would like to do differently this year and for sure definitely to be less afraid of the unknown. I'm a big worrier. Like, I worry about everything. Yeah, basically just about 
everything and it suppresses me a lot from being my true self. I am a type of person, I want to know everything and when I don't know everything, I like genuinely am so anxious about it and paranoid that it just literally makes me sick to my stomach. Like, you know when someone will text you and they'll be like, I gotta talk to you about something and they don't want to tell you right then and there so you're just stuck there like thinking about it. I will literally start crying, like feeling like I have to throw up because I hate that. Like, I genuinely hate it. I have to know everything right away and so I want to work on that because it's just not really good for me so I definitely want to work on that and this is the makeup but I'm gonna answer one last question that whoo, this is what you guys all came to this video for the question is who is this boy I've been posting so um yeah I've been posting about a boy been posting this boy on TikTok and you know just posting about this little failure and honestly I don't really have much to say as of right now um, I am obviously like a teenage girl. I want to post whenever I like someone. Like, I just want to do that. I know that I have so many people watching me and I know you're going to have so many questions about him. And I totally, totally understand y'all's curiosity. Like, I fully understand it. But at the same time, I want to be able to post about him, but still like keep it private in a way because it's still very fresh. And I just want to grow with him before I'm like throwing him out there for everybody. So I just want you guys to respect what's going on. Um, I'm not really going to address certain questions um, or certain specific questions about him but just to let y'all know like that I do realize y'all have questions and they will be answered eventually they will be answered but just as of right now I just would like some privacy and some respect and hopefully y'all can understand that but yeah I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you guys had a great 2019 and I hope you have a blessed 2020 I'm so excited for this year I cannot wait to freaking get on with this 2020 um 2019 brought me so many blessings and i'm just so excited to see what 2020 has in store for me and i hope you guys are ready to be on this journey with me so yeah i love you guys bye